Try and push. Go and be more than that. Oh my god! This is the way to get inside the temple. It's like, here we are. And just, it looks like we're just in maybe like almost like a hotel. It's just sitting on top of the mountain. And just randomly the entrance is just this. It's like a complete secret. We're going in. Okay. Just remember what you've seen and now look at look at how it's gonna be. Like we just came from the mountains. It's like this hidden way going down and look at it just you wouldn't expect this. This is like a movie, I swear this would be like the most craziest movie opportunity I've ever had. You wouldn't even expect this. Right, right, right. Here we go. This is crazy. This is so sick. <laughs> I'm about to have a heart attack right now. <laughs> So in this room right now, they're painting the stained glass still. This is still a work in progress. Look at this. Now there, this is a work in progress. They started building this in 1978. They're not even done yet. There's so much art put into it. Like this is the most coolest thing I've ever seen. And just check out the floor. And everything, every single thing here mean something. It's not like they just threw everything here randomly made an art project. It's actually all meaningful. Here in the Hall of Earth, the creator, if you look, um, the gems represent like humans and how we're all unique and we're valuable. And he's pretty much, if you look, he's just blowing kind of just blowing the, the whole solar system together like as if he's creating it all creating life. So now we move on to this guy. He's just a male, you know, not special, just a regular guy who's pretty much, as we, you know, go through life on Earth, he's saying stop to the negative. So anti-evolution, as in like the laziness, the stubbornness, the, sh the selfishness, the greed, and that's who he is. So pretty much anything that can keep us whole as a world and positivity, he's saying stop to the negativity. And I'm not gonna lie, he does look like a guy from Attack on Titans, if you guys know. Over here, he represents duality. And he's lifting up the curtain to pretty much welcome us into the first hall we were into, which is the Hall of Victory. Which is also just the Hall of Materials, as well. And this hall, if I already said it, is the Hall of Earth. Represents the spiritual aspect of our planet. Whew! Here's, here's another interesting thing. Here's the Lunar Forces, which is the Moon. Over here is green representing Earth, the surface, the sun, and over here represents the center of our planet, which is like lava, the core, the fire. Dude, this is the door. I'm, I could barely fit. It's amazing that we're going through all these sections and every section represents something to do with life in general in any way. Here's one thing. So every window has an age and this boy is zero to seven and it could be a boy or girl, it doesn't matter. And as you go through the hall in a circle, you get older. Now you're in your teenager times and then you can just keep going. You know, you're just getting older. And eventually, you're gonna end up being, as we swoop by back over here, bam, 
back at the beginning. There you go. You're like 90 years old now. So it's cool how as you go through each window, you're growing older and older. On the floor, it represents people's limits and how they are as people, like selfishness. For instance, you're chained up trying to say, you know, you're all about yourself. And this one's self-consciousness. And this one's like um, being, being fake, you know, being backstabbed. And that's, you know, how they are. And you make it to the top in life and you're successful, you're doing good, all the positivity stuff. That's representing here, the stealing. And here's the fire. You know like when you do such good things, you're motivated in life, you have that spark of fire? Well, here is the spark of fire. And the knights are protecting that spark of fire. Also the dancers in the middle are as well. All right, we're out of here. We're leaving the Hall of Metals. We're just moving along. Step downstairs and then just look. This is what we walk through. And this hall is sick. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, just look, it's, it's awesome. So as you walk through the hall, each stained glass represents a god, someone's religion. And that's what the hall, the labyrinth is about. It's just, it's about bringing everyone together that all their beliefs and putting it into one hall. Like here's the hall and here's the stained glass of Allah. And you know, I guess in his religion, you don't show his face. So they showed this. And here's the Egyptian god. You take a right. You can see more gods. There's Tangri. And these are gods that I've never seen or in anything like that. Anyways, you keep going. And here you go, look at it. Just more gods. And more gods. It's really cool. Still, these little creatures on the floor, I love it. There's so many of them. Look, I can just drop the camera down and just show you them. We don't have to see the real gods on the stained glass. Well, look at this one. Wait. Try and push. Go a little bit more. Oh my god! This, oh, yo, you scared me. You scared me. Yeah, I... That's sick. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool. This is cool.